following demonstration will connect a circuit board to a pedestal with a zero length C bush connected to two rigid spiders using a bushing universal connection. We'll begin by creating a solid mesh on the chassis or the pedestal and then we'll create a shell mesh on the board. Next, we'll create a point where we'd like to put our zero length C bush. And this will also be the center for our rigid spider connections. Next, we'll define some selection recipes that will define the nodes that we'd like in our rigid spider for first the boards those nodes on the board and then for the nodes on the pedestal. For the pedestal nodes we'll need to create a stacked selection recipe. First one that is a bounding volume to capture the polygon face of the pedestal and we'll do that with a sphere using the containment inside. That will get the face, then we need to get the related nodes on that face. So there are the nodes on the pedestal. All right, now that we have uh, all of that, we're ready to create our universal connection, our bushing universal connection. And we'll do that with targets being defined as local spider. We'll select the center as being that center point and then our leg locations will be our selection recipe. We'll select our connection target as being the surface of the board and then we'll define our second target also as a local spider defining its center and then leg nodes as the selection recipe. Connection target here again will be the body except this time of the pedestal instead of the body of the board. Okay, so here you can see um, we just need to realize the connection and we get a message saying that it's invalid, but it is in fact valid. You can see that the uh, bushing has been created as well as the rigid spiders. So this issue has been reported and will be corrected soon. All right, so here you can see uh, the stiffness that we've put in for that bushing as well. So let's go ahead and test the connection by running a linear static solution with a gravity load. And here you can see the model setup check has caught an error. We forgot to define the material and thickness on our shell mesh. So let's go in and do that. And go ahead and solve again. All right, now the solution is completed. Let's go ahead and take a look at our results. And you can see the connection is hanging in there. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and test the robustness and geometry associativity of this connection by making a CAD change. Let's go ahead and move one of the pedestals. And then we'll go ahead and update our finite element model. You can see everything has updated correctly. Let's go ahead and test that with another solution. This time we'll go ahead and clone our original so we can see the results side by side. All 
All right, now we'll open up our old results on the left and our new results on the right. We'll go ahead and synchronize the views and view our results. And that concludes the demonstration.